Hey coin collectors and welcome to DC Coin Roll International Coin Channel and today we're going to take a look at the Pennsylvania 50 state quarter from 1999 and as we did talked about in a prior video we're going to go through all of the state quarters and the first one we went I looked at was Delaware which is over here it's called the first state um, and Pennsylvania is the next one New Jersey will be after that Georgia and Connecticut, and we're actually doing them in the order that they became part, uh, states in the Union. So Pennsylvania was the second state to ratify the U.S. Constitution, um, and so that's the coin that we're going to do today. And you'll notice that this was, uh, we're taking this one out of a United States Mint 50 state quarters proof set from 1999, and that's of course because this is the San Francisco Mint coin from 1999. And how can you tell it's from 1999? Well, let's look at it again. I'll show you. Right here, it says 1999. So remember when we get to the um, quarters, in the Washington quarters from 1999 on, they don't have the date at the bottom. Now this, of course, is a silver one. But the Washington Quarter always looked like this. It's a John Flanagan design. You can actually see engraving. You can actually see the JF down below Washington who faces left. It says Liberty over his head and God we trust under his chin. And then the date. Well, on the 50 State Quarter Series, they put the date on the back. Uh, and why did they do that? Well, let's take a look and see if we can see. It says United States of America at the top, and that's why they did that. They took the United States of America off the back, and in order to give the state full reign in designing the back of the coin, they took this off, and they put it on the front, and then they took the quarter dollar off the back and put that on the front. So that gave them a lot more space on the back for their design, and so that's why this one looks quite different from the old school we can do it there. The old school Washington. You see that Washington is actually a little bit smaller. In God We Trust is under his chin. Uh, in the old ones, in the newer ones, it's behind him. And they took liberty from above his head and put it under his chin. Now, why do we have this uh, in the packaging? Well, because it's a proof set. The San Francisco Mint uh, for this year only came in a proof set. So because it's a proof set, uh, I've left it in the plastic and not taken out. Usually I take them out, but there's, there's, this is actually relatively valuable if you want to talk about it. It's probably worth about three plus dollars this particular quarter. Now, does Pennsylvania have other quarters that we have circulating? Yes, of course. And this is, this is interesting because this is a quarter uh, from the Pennsylvania 1999 50 state quarter series. Uh, and this actually was made in Pennsylvania. So this is the Philadelphia Mint. Philadelphia, as most of you know, is a major city in Pennsylvania. It's not the capital. Harrisburg is the capital, but Philadelphia is where one of three mints in the United States. And let's look at that P right there. So P for Philadelphia, S for San Francisco. And then I think we have somewhere here a D we do for the Denver Mint. So this is the Denver Mint quarter from 1999. Now you can't tell by looking at the front because it doesn't have the date on it. But if we flip it over, we see that it has Pennsylvania on the back from 1999. So we have the D for Denver, the P for Philadelphia, and the S for San Francisco. Uh, in Denver, they made 358 million. In Philadelphia, they made 349 million. And in San Francisco, they made 3.7 million of these proof sets. So that means that the circulating ones from Denver and Philadelphia will never be valuable. They're worth about 25 cents each, and they probably will continue to be worth that because they made three quarters of a billion of them. Um, this has some nice coloring in it, doesn't it? Um, so when we look at the back, uh, we can look at these coins and, and see the back of them, and you can see it's slightly scratched up, but they're all going to look the same on the back. They're all going to say Pennsylvania at the top, 1787, which is when Pennsylvania joined the Union, 
there's this outline here around the outside. That's the outline of the state. Up here, there's something called a keystone, which they use in buildings. Um, often you see a keystone in a building um, as uh, it will have an inscription on it when the building was built. Pennsylvania is called the Keystone State for a couple different reasons, or known as a Keystone State. And the first of them is Jefferson said that President Jefferson, um, uh, the third president of the United States, said that Pennsylvania was the keystone uh, to the Union. And then um, in the literature from the U.S. Mint, they also say that Pennsylvania was the keystone to the Civil War, um, in that it was a difference between the North and South, or a kind of barrier between the North and South, and that's why many battles were fought there, including Gettysburg. Now, if we go way down in here, next to this, uh, the lady's leg, we see some initials down here, and there's a J and an M, and that's for John Mercanti, who was the engraver of this coin. We see it says over here on the right, virtue, liberty, and independence. And then here in the center is a statue, and the statue actually has a name. It's called Commonwealth. It's an allegorical, they call it an allegorical female figure. Um, and this was uh, actually um, sculpted. It's bronze, bronze gilded. It's 14 feet 6 inches, and it stands atop the capital of Pennsylvania. On top of the Capitol Dome, you can see this. It's called Commonwealth, and it's been there since May 25th, 1905. Now, there's some symbolism here, which I don't really completely understand, but here it goes. The right arm is extended, and that is uh, a symbol of kindness, um, kind of, she's reaching down towards the people. The left arm holds what's called a ribbon mace, and you can see the ribbons kind of flowing off here, and you can see the um, eagle on the top of the mace, or this, this pole here, and this ribbon mace symbolizes justice. So atop the Capitol, they have a symbol of justice and a symbol of kindness atop the Capitol, which is kind of a nice idea. If we want to look at this in just a much finer form, so it says 1990 Pluribus Unum, we can just flip this over and look at it from here and when you look at it from here, you realize that how finely detailed uh, this coin is. You can see the JM much better here. Um, and if we look here, you can see kind of the flow of the robe and the hands coming down. And see how they kind of set this in uh, right underneath the Pennsylvania. So that's our second of the 50 state coins. Uh, let's look forward to the new one. Um, should be coming out in a week or so. I'll probably try to do one a week, um, which means it'll probably take me uh, about a year to do all of them, including the Commonwealths. All right. Let's put the other ones in here. There's the P, the S, the D, and have a great day from DC Coin World International Coin Channel.